Hello there and welcome back. As promised, I wrote all of the ratios in that we used in assignment one and let's go back and look at simplifying them. And this way I won't have to be zooming and scroll, excuse me, scrolling and all that stuff. It'll just hopefully be a little smoother. I'm up to number three, which is asking for the red items to all items. And so I need a bubble that will work for a four and a 12. And hopefully you know that that's a four. This goes back to your times tables, knowing the multiplication tables. Four into four is one and four into 12 is three. So one to three is the equivalent ratio that is lower. One to one. And remember I told you if one is the only thing that you can put in the bubble, there's really not much point because it will just bring you back to where you were. So this one really was a does not simplify. Once you have the same number top and bottom, there's nothing else you can do to simplify that. 12 to 4. And you might be thinking, we're seeing a lot of 12s and 4s. That's because we're dealing with the same array. We haven't changed our data. So 4 into 12 is going to be 3. And 4 into 4 is 1. Both of them are top heavy. That's the way it should be. The, the 12 over 4 and the 3 over 1 are both top heavy. And that's something that you want to watch for. You would never have a top heavy one and a bottom heavy one in the same ratio. That cannot be. So that's a good clue that we're doing something right. Okay, this one. When you're thinking of a number that will go into both of those, the only thing is a one. So it was a three and a one all over again. That one was a does not simplify. It, it just, there's nothing I can do with that one. It's already lowest terms. We could go higher, but we can't go into lower terms. A four and a two. I'm going to use a two to break this one down. Two into four goes two times. And 2 into 2 goes 1. So the equivalent lower term is 2 to 1. Number 8 is somewhere up here. There's 4 and 12 again because we are dealing with the same array. I did that on purpose because I want you to get the concept in your mind of what I'm doing here. This one is 1 to 3 circles to squares and you might be tempted to say oh that one won't simplify i can't break that down but i can um, and i told you a minute ago when you get the same number top and bottom it won't simplify that really is not true um, i can break this one down and i really don't know why i even told you that that was just off the wall it does break down to one over one um, one thing that will be true is you will still have the same number top and bottom. You could even do this one by a 2. Let me show you something here. Let's We keep the 4 over 4. And let me put a different color so you're not getting... Let's do it right here. What if I did 4 over 4 and I used a 2 to break it down? So I would say 2 into 4 is 2 and two into four is two, and that is an equivalent ratio for sure. But then this one can go again by two. So we have one and one. There are three ratios that are equivalent, and we can break them down to lower terms or lowest terms, depending on what we need to do. Generally, you want to always go to lowest. You want to keep going until there's nothing left to do. That's just good form. Okay, this one, remember, was triangles to circles and squares. 
And let me just remind you where I came up with, um, I had to add right there to get that one. So the answer was four to eight. And in this one, the simplifying, I can do it with a two or I can do it with a four. The bigger the bubble, the better. So the bigger you can get that bubble to be, the less work you're gonna have to do. Let me go ahead and do that for you with the two and I'll show you what I mean. So two works in the bubble, no problem. Two and four, that's lower terms, but it's not lowest. So we're gonna keep going on down to one to two. So you can see that both of those get me to the same answer. It's just the bigger bubble gets me there a little faster. So, okay, I'm going to show you how to do this with the calculator. So if you're watching this video and you're thinking, I have no idea what this woman's doing, hang in there because the calculator will do all this math for you. And if you're not real good with your times tables, that's okay. It's, it's just a matter of if you learned them, I was drilled on them till I wanted to scream. So I did learn those very well, but a lot of people didn't. And they don't emphasize that now as much as they did when I was a kid. So if you don't know your times tables, this is a little hard to do, but let me show you the calculator way. And here, I've done calculator tips in green if you have the work text. I just reminded you that ratios must always have a top and a bottom. So the ratio that I want to simplify, I'll give you in just a minute. But first, let me give you the calculator steps so you know what you need to do. The first thing that you always need to do is press the red all clear. So that's just going to clear out the calculator and then to do a ratio problem you put in the top number and we'll do an example you press your fraction key even though these are not fractions we're going to trick the calculator into thinking they are and then you put the bottom number in and you press equals okay so let's do the ratio. Um, let me give you an example over here. What if we needed to simplify 32 to 12? Maybe there are 32 men in a class and 12 women. So we're comparing the men and the women. So let's put this one in our calculator and see what we get. So we would do all clear, put the top number in, then the fraction key and the bottom number, and press equals. So I'm going to do that just to be sure that you and I are looking at the same thing. If you have not done the calculator tutorial, I recommend that you do that before you watch these videos. Okay, so what you get is this. That's called a mixed number. And remember what I told you back in the first lesson. No mixed numbers. We have to have top and bottom. So if you get a mixed number, this is what you need to do. While that mixed number's sitting there, you type shift and the fraction key again and equals. So shift fraction equals, oh no, no, not equals. I'm sorry, I learned something here. Just shift and fraction. So you have two and two thirds, shift fraction, no equals. And your answer is eight to three. So no equal sign on this one. If you do, it'll just bring you back to two and th two thirds and you can just keep going back and forth. It's not a big deal, but you need this form. You need the eight over three. So what this is saying to me is that 32 over 12 is equal to eight 
over 3. So the calculator will do that for you, but it thinks you're doing a fraction, and it'll give you the mixed number. You need to get that into a top-heavy fraction. So just go ahead and hit Shift, ABC, and you'll get that top-heavy fraction. Okay, the assignment number two. This one's a little more difficult because I'm asking you to simplify the ratios by hand and then check your calculations with your calculator. So I gave you 10 of those, and if you turn on over to page 14, I gave you some space to do those, two pages of workspace. And I will be back with you in the next video, and we'll go over those answers. See if you can do them by hand. If you simply cannot, go ahead and do them by the calculator and see if you get the same answer. So I will see you soon.